everyone so welcome back to another video now this is the first video back on my channel in about two months and um, if you want to know the reason why i've been gone for two months then i'll explain it in the vlog that's coming out on wednesday so make sure you check out that if you want to know why otherwise i'll get straight in with the video I'm standing up today i've never stood up as far as i'm aware in a video before today the video that we're going to be filming is clothing i've bought so far this year trying it on showing it to you guys talking about a little bit about the finances um, and all stuff like that. I haven't actually seen, as far as my aware, when I type it in, nothing comes up precisely. I know people have done like no buy years and they've documented that, um, but that's not the same as this and it's slightly different because I'm not on a no buy. Um, so they're like the closest videos I've found to it. Apologies if anyone has done this before. So I just thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see what I've bought this year. I mentioned no buy earlier and I'm, I'm sort of on a similar to that. Last year, I spent an obscene amount of money on clothes i don't even want to tell you how much i spent i didn't realize i probably had a bit of an addiction to shopping if i'm honest um and i don't think i realized that until in january i sat down looked at like my bank like all my like bank transactions for the whole year and i was like it was an issue it was a problem and straight away after that i was like yeah this year i've got to limit myself down a lot more so i'm going to be going um through with kind of in order so i'm going to be showing you all the clothes i bought and i'm going to be going it in order from january to july some of the purchases are necessary um which i'll explain look at this to say it's someone who's probably a shopaholic and is trying to like get rid of that and is trying to really limit herself on buying clothes so i will try and link as many things below as i can do um but obviously some of these stuff i bought in january so they might not still be in stock but anyway let's just get jumping the video because i'm sure you're interested in what i've bought this year okay so i've got like a piece of paper with all my spendings on and i will give a final total at the end if you're interested in more like the finance side of stuff um so the first shop which was on the 19th of january by the way the majority of this is online so it was online was river island now i own like the odd couple of items from River Island. I never really shop in there purely because it's quite expensive. But however, I've been looking for some really good quality sports leggings for the longest time. Pretty much tried everywhere and I was just searching online and it came up with River Island. So I hopped onto the website, um, ordered two pairs. One of them was £20.80 and one of them was £17.60. Um, they were a little bit more but there was 15% off or something. So as you can see in this haul, I generally try and get some sort of discount on my items. And so yeah, we're now just going to pan down so you can actually see the leggings which are on. So these are the first pair of leggings from River Island which I have actually got the most use out of. The thing I like about the most is they're that really thick material. They're not like the lycra material that you get in a sport legging. They're like, they are like the normal like cheap legging material. But they're really, really thick so they give that sports legging vibe. And I love this bit at the top, it's like high waisted and it's like an elastic which has got RI on it. And I just love the way that sits. I love high waisted leggings, they're the best. And then I also love the, um, got that white stripe down the side. And also I am five foot two as well. So most leggings wrinkle up at the bottom on me. However, these, I don't know if you can tell, fit perfectly. No wrinkles, no nothing. They're size six, by the way. I definitely recommend these. Here is the second pair of ones. The only difference is exactly the same really good fit quality material. And the only difference is on this one, it's still wide waisted, which I love. And instead it's just got like the tape of the RI logo going down the side like a nude pale pink again fit me absolutely perfectly we now move on to the second shop which is misguided um, and i made this purchase on the 29th of january around this time it was pretty much yeah a few days before i went out for my first night out clubbing it dawned on me that i didn't really have any like clubbing type outfits um so a lot of what you're going to see in the next section of shops is all stuff for me to try and buy loads of clubbing out of it so this is the next item so it is a pink pleather skirt um and it was 20 pound 25 pence again i believe i must have had some type of discount on for that price but yeah i absolutely love it it's this pleather material and it's like ruched at the sides and then you've got these buttons which are just for decoration that ruche it all in there's a zip at the back which is really handy and i just 
love it but also on my first night out i was quite anxious and nervous about it because i didn't know what to expect and i got so many compliments on this from strangers which was so 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 lovely and it made me feel so nice now moving on to the 5th of february so yeah only about a week later and um, but this is more club and outfits this shop is i saw it first and i think i saw it first has now become my favorite online fashion retailer you can see the first item i'm wearing so this is a black mesh sleeve crop top um, and this was £15. It's quite cropped, but again, um, I would wear it with a high waist skirt anyway. Do you know what I love? I just love these mesh sleeves. Like, they're so lovely. They're slightly bat wing in the way that they're a little bit um, puffy and oversized, but they sort of like come in at the cuffs. It's really, really lovely. And then at the back, it's sort of like not mesh. It's like got eyelet clasps, um, bardo. I just really really love it the next item still for my sort of first this is like a blue square neck bodysuit um and this was 10 pounds this quality from i saw it first is so good I, like love the color blue on me so when i saw this i really had to get it um but you know you can wear this for lounge wear you can wear it for going out you can wear it forever you can just up dress it down but yeah all i can say like really fit quality that like, you can't see like my bra outline on it which with a lot of like tops you can which is very annoying so yeah really good quality we're still on the 5th of february um so like i said i was buying quite a lot of stuff this today and now this is from boohoo now um i was a bit like do i include this do i not include this because i don't support boohoo as a brand anymore but you know a few months ago in february i did support it so i am still including it if you don't know what's been happening with boohoo basically they've actually they've been found it throughout the whole of lockdown they've been um still operating their factories as a lot of places have but they've been doing it without um safety measures they've still been making people come in they haven't had like any ppa it's also been said that a lot of like clothing factories in leicester has contributed to why leicester has got so many cases compared to the rest of the uk um and boohoo also the factory that they used to supply a lot of the clothes the one in leicester they've also been underpaying their workers not been doing the minimum wage that is just not good at all boohoo as far when i'm uploading this they have responded to it says they didn't know anything about it and they're looking to it okay you didn't know anything about it but what they're now doing is they're shutting them factories down but they're moving them abroad basically when all these regulations don't matter and they can carry on doing it you know they're still happy to do all these 100 pounds of giveaways every single day to like customers and stuff but they're not happy to pay the workers and that doesn't sit right with me um again they own pretty little thing and they own nasty girl as far as my work so i'm not going to be um, associating myself with their brands in the near future um if they sort it out my opinion might change but I um, I'm still going to be showing you what I bought from this and I'm still going to be like you know giving an honest review of the clothes I'm not going to let that clown my judgment um, so for the purpose of that I'm not going to be linking these clothes below I don't really want to promote it anymore so yeah with that like boohoo talk over with I'm just going to show you what I bought because I have bought it and like I said a few months ago I didn't know anything was happening let's just get on with it so the first item is the item you can see me wearing it's a grey and they describe it's like a slinky bralette cami it was £7.20 it is double layer so you don't have to wear it with a bra although I am again um, I just really love the shape of it um, again it is quite cropped as you can see it sort of almost looks like i don't know a swimsuit material i don't know so like in that way i also could see it as like you could potentially wear this for a gym top if you work with shorts i think it could look like that obviously you can also pair it with jean skirt to make it a going out look the next item from them is this denim skirt now this was seven pound twenty so the same price as the top weirdly i love that it has pockets um because a lot of them are just for show at the front and it has it's almost like i don't even know what you call it but it's got like this stitching on the outside which i love it's also got rips here and it's got a rip at the bottom which i really love it's got pockets on the back with the stitching again really good quality it sits at a really nice length for me um oh and i if i forgot to say any of the sizes because i am forgetting to say sizes i'll be putting all the sides on the screen below if you want just like reference and you can kind of like take it from like what i wear and stuff my book was another skirt now this was four pound 32 it's like this textured material come a bit close so you can see um however i can see why it was a bit cheaper because it is a little bit thin quality but um that's okay it's not too you can sort of see the outline of my pants a little bit and then i thought i'd just show you what the two items look like together i think it depends on what you pair the skirt with to make it work 
because it can look like a bit of like a PE netball type skirt. But I think paired with this, it goes really well together. The next two items, believe it or not, aren't a cupboard. And I think you can slightly tell that the slightly different shade of pink. But I love the blue skirt so much that I also got it in the pink one. Again, it was £4.32. And this little pink bralette, this was £4.32. Oh, the same price. Okay. Again, the skirt's exactly the same. It's actually just a really different, like, colour. Um, baby pink colour. And yeah, this bra that it's textured again. Love the shape of it around the back. And if I do this quickly, you can also cover your bra up so you don't even know you've got that on. I bought these two, not even thinking they could go together. But I got them home and I was like, I love that. Like, I love wearing two different tonal things. I just think it looks really lovely. And also, when have you ever seen me in something so girly? Do you know what I mean? Like, gosh, I do love this outfit. It's such a shame about Boohoo because I really do love their clothes. So still on Boohoo and the next item is this black bodysuit which was £5.76. So I just wanted another black bodysuit because I kind of put it under my shirt and it work. So yeah, this one just goes all the way up to the top at the back and then it has this lovely v-neck. It's just a really nice thin material like I said that goes perfect under stuff. Obviously it doesn't go with this pink skirt. Really, really basic, but just something that is an essential that I needed. And I did also buy two pieces of underwear from Boohoo, um, which were £2.88 each, but we don't need to show that on the internet. Now it's the 6th of February, and I believe it's the 6th of February, because I was doing all this like order at night, so it sort of like went into like 12 o'clock midnight the next day. This is the last piece of like clubbing attire that I bought, and this one was back to misguided again. This is a black bodycon dress, which I'm going to show you full length in a minute. It was £4.50 when have I ever seen anything on misguided for that cheap like it dawned on me that I don't have a simple black bodycon dress and a little black dress can go with any event pretty much and I just needed one so here we go here is the dress in full um even though like again it's a really like a breathable really thin fabric but then you can't like see any like outlines of my underwear like these fin straps which I love and quite like I don't know a nice rounded neck again the same at the back it just fits really really well it just sort of sits above my knee yeah again it's just a basic which we all need the next two clothing stores that i'm about to show you are actually in store one so this was zara i don't know if you could guess but we go from like clubby outfits to like quite sophisticated my style is very much changed i don't think i have a specific style to be honest as long as i'm comfy i'm happy with that and this was on the 20th of february um I own a couple items from Zara, but again, I never see loads from there that I love, but I think their basic items are really good, and Zara's known as being a really expensive store, but their basic items, they do really cheap, and obviously it's really well made. So this is $7.99, and it just is quite a nice length, it's like a flowy top, I love this colour, you're about to see, I'm going to show you some joggers in a moment as well, which is this colour. And again, you can wear this casual, but then it'd be really good to dress up, really, really love this, really cute, and um... Yeah, I just love these puffy sleeves. Okay, so the next basic item I got from Zara was this white t-shirt. Now, this was £4.99. What? Again, so thick quality. What white t-shirt have I ever found that when you even wear a new bra on, you can still see the bra through? Like, I've never found a white t-shirt where you can't see a bra through the top. Apart from this one, it is a crop top. Um, but it's not too cropped. It just literally sits on my belly button. But again, I'd wear it with high-waisted jeans or, like, joggers. Again, you can dress it up you can dress it down i just really love the way it sits it's nice and fitted um yeah next shop is primark so i went to primark on the 5th of march and my only primark shop of the whole year um towards the end of last year again when i sort of realized how much i spent i was like right i'm not going in primark at all next year because you're in primark for one thing and before you know it all the kind of things that were like five pound of them mounted up to a really big spend this item was eight pound and it's probably another one of my favourite items of everything I bought. It's just this lovely, it's more of like a creamy white material. Really, really, really like soft. I love it. It's cuffed sleeves, so it's like three quarters. They puff out. It's got a lovely through here. What I also love as well, it goes in at the bottom. So it's got these drawstrings, which obviously you can kind of tighten it to how tight you want it. And the thing is with this is, look, you can literally wear it with joggers. And you sort of just dress up your joggers a little bit. But then you could also wear this with jeans maybe some with leather trousers and you dress it up because the frills just make it i just absolutely love this top the next clothing item i bought from primark i actually bought this in two colors so i'll show you the other color in the moment it is an oversized stone t-shirt dress i'm a good plain t-shirt dress is something i've been looking for for absolutely ages i tried so many online retailers and whenever i do they just come so long and like i said i'm five foot two and when t-shirt dresses are past the knee for me um 
It just doesn't look right. It was five pound. What? Love this stone colour. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's the same as my background. It's literally the same colour as my wall. I have actually paired this with a black studded belt. It's like pre-made with the sleeves like rolled up a bit. Now you can just see the length that it is on me. So it is quite short, um, but that's sort of how I would like it. I would probably wear some cycling shorts underneath, you know, just in case. The same one um, in black. It was £5. Um, again, it's literally exactly the same fit. I just feel like t-shirt, basic t-shirt dresses are just such a great staple to have. You can wear them for any occasion. So then lockdown happened, shop shut, and then I was like, right, I need to save money. We're now jumped to 22nd of April, so this time we'd been in lockdown for like a month. Feeling a bit sorry for myself, and I thought, I'll treat myself. The next shop is Shein, which, um... There was a whole video where I did a whole sheen um, haul. So I'm just going to briefly be showing you in this video. I bought two bikinis, which were both £10.49 each. Which I love. Unfortunately, I'm not confident enough and comfortable enough to be trying on a bikini on the internet for you all. I just love them. But again, this is like a blue tie-dye. And the bottoms are like high leg. I just love it. Um, again, it has padding. So if you wanted that or if you wanted to remove it. Um, adjustable straps. It fits me absolutely absolutely perfectly it's so small it was such a gamble buying like bikinis online and especially i've never bought from machine before the other one um was similar the straps were a bit thicker and it was a pink snake print um again it was high leg and i just love the way that they fit on me i just think this type of swimsuit which i didn't actually own until i bought these two wait where's the oh well it is just fit really nicely on me so good quality and i haven't had a chance to wear them yet but they're £10.50 for a set and to get that good quality you'd be probably paying like £40 in other shops. Um, so yeah, I really would recommend Shein for swimwear. The next item from Shein, let's try this on camera. I bought a kimono, um, not that you'd really put a kimono on with what I'm wearing. This was £7.99 from Shein and it's like a sheer one which I would just put directly on top of the swimwear and it would also look lovely if you were wearing like shorts or a skirt. This is just what it looks like on so um it's sort of just well it sort of just covers my dress so yeah it would cover you if you were wearing like a bikini and um, I love the tassels on the end I just really think it really adds to it. The next item from Shein that I bought was this lace bralette which was £4.49. So what I love about this is it already has padding in so you don't have a wear bra with it. I just love that it has like this little bit underneath so it sits at a nice height and obviously you can wear high waisted with it. The straps, I love them, they're just like elastic and then the lace sort of carries one round to the back. I just thought this would probably work as a really nice clubbing outfit as well. But yeah, I could just imagine myself wearing this on the beaches of Spain or Greece. Such on so many different websites so this was the perfect one for me. Fits really well so yeah £4.49. Shein you just cannot go wrong. On that same day 22nd of April is actually the last time that I bought clothes. We're finishing with an eye. So at first order, first item I'm going to be showing you is these um, raincoats. So I've had this bench sort of cropped raincoat. I feel like I've had it probably like eight years. Maybe even longer than that, like I've had it for the longest time, probably even 10. So, I've been wanting some raincoats for literally a year. I was searching all last year and I never found any until I found these. So these were actually by an external brand. I think it was Rainy Days maybe, the brand. Um, they were £5, so they were on, I think, a half price sale. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it goes down really long. I mean, as long as raincoats really go. Um, obviously, you can hear, it is extremely noisy. Um, but I think that sort of shows that it's good quality, it has a good zip, you can proper have it done up if it's lashing it down and then you've got drawstrings at the bottom so you can tighten it in a bit and um, it also has pockets which I love, they sort of, you can't even see it, but they're the pockets and they're really big, just the basic that I need, I just needed a good basic raincoat which like I said I've not had for years. Oh also the last thing, if I can get to it, it has a hood and a lot of coats don't have hoods which always annoys me, so there we go. And the same as the black, but I got it in white, which was also £5. And also, you can see that this is quite sheer. So, obviously, this might be better to wear, like, in a hotter country because even though the other fabric won't be hot, black obviously attracts heat. Um, it's got the pockets again. Like, if you still sort of wanted to show your outfit off, then this is the perfect one to have. It sort of looks a bit like a lab coat scientist, but um, it's fine. I think with the right outfit on, it'd look good. I probably wouldn't wear this one, like in england wear this one abroad more so this was also what i saw it first but um i actually ordered it the next day on the 23rd of april um and it was this top the first thing that i'm wearing it was six pound i got some type of discount onto this 
I love this. Purple has always been my favourite colour. I've always been a big fan of tie-dye. And absolutely love it. I do sometimes roll the sleeves up. Sometimes I leave it down. And it is really oversized um, if I just take it out. But I actually prefer it tied up. It's got that much material. I just love it. And this exact outfit is what I wore on my birthday. Because obviously it was a birthday at home. And again, this is another one of my favourite products this year. And my very last purchase of the whole entire year so far... And bear in mind that was on the 23rd of April, so that was like nearly four months ago. So this last item is definitely another one of my favourites that I've picked up this year. The last piece, these were £16, and they're these teal joggers, which I absolutely love. This is quite an out there piece for me, in the way the style, I don't know. They remind me of like cargo trousers, but it's a really thick jogger material. It's got these really cool pockets as well. That sort of sit on the side of the velcro but you open them and they're really deep really nice drawstring um i'm gonna pan down as well so you can see more of them you can see the pockets a bit better on these um they are cuffed so they go again they fit really lovely on me i can't believe how well they fit they don't like kind of bunch up at the bottom at all i just think they're such a different piece um and i really love them so it was a great last purchase to finish on i hope this video wasn't too long i mean i had nearly 30 items to haul um Precisely, it was 27 clothing items that I bought. I'm going to do a quick little like finance breakdown if you are interested in stuff like that. So in terms of what I bought, I bought 8 tops, 2 bodysuits, 3 dresses, 4 skirts, 2 pants, 1 joggers, 2 leggings, 2 raincoats, 2 bikinis and 1 kimono. That was the breakdown of all the items. So I bought a real mixture of items. I didn't just buy one specific thing, which I think is really good. And like I said, a lot of the things I showed you were for a purpose. Some of the other purchases obviously were just because I wanted to treat myself and wanted to add them to my wardrobe. In terms of the total, the total was £223.47. Which when I say it like that, sounds like a lot. It really does. But when you see certain, sometimes YouTubers would do videos where they spent like 200 quid in Primark. Something like that. So I think in terms of that, that is so good compared to what I spent last year. And like I said, I hope to not really buy any more clothes now. I might buy the odd one. It is over nearly eight months. Roughly, it was £30 a month. Which when you say it like that, makes it sound so so good and like i said i've got so many items for that price as well i am very aware a lot of this is fast fashion which is again why i've been trying to stop buying from fast fashion retailers but when you don't have a lot of money that is the way forward and i know so many people are like buy from all these eco stores buy from stores which are more eco-friendly which is great if you have the money but it's not great if you don't um so which is why i've just been trying to cut out buying clothes altogether i hope you like this video i hope it was something different and that you've maybe never seen before and it might have interest you maybe this will help you to have some inspiration on what to buy maybe buying from new shops um or maybe it'll help you like me try and limit your spending if you are new to my channel i do videos every wednesday friday and sunday at five o'clock this was my first video back in a long time but i am still sticking with that schedule as best as i can if you want any notifications um do follow me on instagram because i do notify if my video is going to be a bit up late or i might kind of do like a hint for what my next video is going to be that's on that and then also you can follow me on TikTok if you are interested at all. I'm still obsessed with TikTok. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.